Hi, I'm Sam. And I'm Pat. And today we're talking about cooperation. Cooperation means working together. To practice getting good at cooperation, we have to balance our own wants and needs with those of someone else's. True cooperation means a give and take that ends in a goal where everyone is happy and the job gets done. Split up into pairs and find some space to stand with your partner. Don't forget your face masks. Now stand facing one another. Stretch your arms out in front of you and hold on to each other's forearms. That's the space on your arms right above your wrists. We're going to create a bridge between you by sitting back like you're sitting in two invisible chairs. The goal is to communicate and go slow so that each partner can counterbalance the other's weight. Slowly bend in your knees, sending your hips back and away from one another. Gentle pull on each other's arms. Nice work. Now the tricky part is coming back up to stand gently and at the same time. Great work. Let's try that again. Arms stretch out in front. Grab each other's forearms. Slowly bend in your knees and send your hips back and away from one another, creating that bridge. Gently come back up using each other's weight to help you come back to a standing position. Okay, this next one's a bit of a challenge. We'll start just like we did last time, creating that double chair pose bridge. Now the challenge, how low can you go? As low down as you can, you and your partner. And now to come back up, take your time straightening out your legs. Don't rush at the same time. Great. It's okay if you need to try again. Just shake it out, reset, and begin again from the start. Good grip without hurting each other's arms. It can be firm without hurting one another. Go down as low as you can without losing the grip, without losing the connection, and then come back up slowly back to a standing position. Great work, high fives all around. Thank you for joining us today in our activity, practicing and learning about cooperation.